Hi, this is Lisa Clark, and thanks for tuning into my channel, Therapy Art For You. First and foremost, thank you to everyone who hit that subscribe button. Y'all are just so awesome. Thank you so much. It's encouraging. And um, yeah, I'm just going to pay it forward. So hope I'm encouraging to someone else out there. Um, so this series is about a lemur. And I got this photo from a group on Facebook called Free Reference Photos for Artists. And even though it says free reference photos for artists, I always ask the artist, may I please use your picture in my YouTube channel series? And this lady did a phenomenal job with this, this photography on this, this lemur. So I picked one of them and she said yes, that I could use it. So thank you again. Um, the, the link to that group is in the description underneath the lemur videos. So I'll get right into this. So the materials that I use, as always, will be in the description underneath the videos of the lemur, but I'll go through it really quickly with you here. So I always have white and, and black soft, um, smooth charcoal pencils. Um, I like them because uh, there there's like four in each box, first of all. I sharpen all of them before a project so that I can just keep going forward. I don't like to stop once I start. So I recommend, you know, pre-sharpening all your pencils. And also I use my Geoconda little set here. My favorite pencil in this one would have to be the gray. I use it for highlights, low lights, uh, blending. I, it's great for blending. Um, so yeah, I do that. And then someone suggested that I try some Carvathalos. So I did, I bought some. Wow, I love these. Thanks for the suggestion. Um, wow, the pigment on these are awesome. Definitely will be using these again. Um, so yeah, I like them. Thank you so much for that suggestion. I also did use a uh, Derwent graphite pencil for some of the smaller details in the lemur. Um, so yeah, that'll also be in the description. For blocking off the lemur on the paper, I do use painter's tape and I did use the whiter one on that one. But um, just know these are not acid free. They're not archival if you use these. So just keep that in mind. I don't mind because I'm not trying to sell these things. I'm just having fun and I'm sharing videos with y'all. So no big deal for me. One of my subscribers recommended I try UART. UART paper. So here's my UART paper. I did use it. Um, I like it. I definitely will be using it again. Um, it's simple uh, black, kind of like sandpaper um, texture, but wow, does it hold the pastels really, really well. It allows a lots of layering, which I definitely recommend when you're using pastel pencils. Excuse me. So there's that. Um, as always, I use the Spectrafix fixative for pastels. Um, do not use it in this bottle. I strongly recommend that you buy a fine mist water sprayer like this. Just pour the contents right into the spray bottle and use it from here. You're less likely to get droplets using this bottle here. Do not use it from here. You'll be very disappointed. That's really about it. Um, yeah, so enjoy the making of this lemur. I sure did. Um, if you have any suggestions, please drop a comment. If you have a, a suggestion on my next project, what, what kind of subject matter it should be, Drop me a comment. I'll read. I'll respond best of my ability. And yeah, here we go. I hope you enjoy the lemur. Hit that subscribe button for me and let's get to it. Bye. Okay, so just so you can see, um, I had a little oops with one of my cameras. Um, lost a little video of the first part of the lemur's ear. So this is me setting up a new, co new camera. Um, so I do apologize for not catching that first part, but at any rate, um, got the camera all situated. So what I'm showing you here are layers. Um, I'm always talking about layers and you definitely want layers if you want to achieve like a photorealistic type of portrait. And here, what I'm doing is I will lay down some black here we go. And then I will cover a certain blocked area with the black. And then I'm going to go through it, the whole area again, with some uh, dark brown. Uh, these are Carbothellos. And then I will go over it with the white to do that fluffy look, the little spikes of hair. And as you can see, what this kind of achieves is like that fluffy look, that, you know, 
depth. There's different colors. It's not just straight gray. It's um, there's different colors going on. I chose those three colors to achieve that fluffy little forehead of his. So that's what you see there. Me putting in the layers, the black, the brown, and then the white. And then I'll just kind of go over it again with the white and fill in any little areas that I think too much dark is showing through so that it kind of is cohesive with the other part that I've already completed. So there you go. This is just a white charcoal smooth pencil. And all I'm doing here, um, they're very similar to pastel pencils. So all I'm doing here is just creating those little fine hairs with this charcoal pencil. I always pre-sharpen my pencils at the beginning of a project um, because I, to be honest, I'm just lazy. I don't like to stop and sharpen pencils. So um, that's what I do. I sharpen all my pencils before I start. Uh, so anyway, that was the ear, that was the charcoal. And then I'm back to the Carbothellos filling in different directions of the little hairs um, that are right there um, on his little forehead because they all go in kind of different directions. Don't worry about those horizontal lines that you might see right there. Those will fill in with layers. Um, at first, you're going to probably be like, this isn't working, but give it a minute. Just give it give it a chance. The more layers you put in, the less you'll see those um, like pre-lines or whatever you want to call them that are just in the paper. They'll go away. Don't worry. Just keep with it. Do the, your layers. So this is part one. Part two and, and, and other parts of this lemur will be on my channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.